Alright, hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi. I am doing a giveaway, so go back and my, look at my last video to find out how to enter for a $50 gift card of your choice. So, go back there and check it out. See how to enter. Anyway, so if you haven't read the title, this story is going to be about... I don't really know how to describe what happened, but something happened. I'm going to tell you the story right now. So this person, I'm not going to say any specifics. This person went to my school and lived in my neighborhood. So we took the bus together and stuff. Not like together, we weren't friends or anything. But this person, they just, they just acted off. Like they just acted mean and like, like were talking to themselves and just acting really strange. And this was in middle school, so like everyone thought this person was like a lunatic or something. Or a sociopath or something. But so this person was acting really weird on the bus. And um... Everyone was kind of like listening, like overhearing, like not really saying anything. It's it's so early in the morning. Nobody was really awake, but they could hear all the things he was saying. It's like himself and other people and stuff. So when we got off the bus, me and my friends were explaining what happened on the bus just now. It's like our friends by our lockers. And it just so happened this person had a locker next to me. And it was the beginning of school, so I didn't know because they must have not come to the locker before. But I did not know they were right next to me. This person comes up behind me and says, You think I'm crazy? And I was like, of course not, no, 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 that's not what I said, I didn't say that, uh, what we meant was, and then so this person goes off to class, and then later on, I go off to class, and I, I usually go to class late, still now I always go to class late, because I'm just a procrastinator, like I wait till the last minute to get into class, because it's always an hour or something, more, like more than an hour, so why waste my time being there before the bell rings, you know what I'm saying? So I always get there a little late. So I was about to start leaving like two minutes to the bell. This person comes out of nowhere. And this was like, this is like when I had a wheelchair backpack. Like, you know, like one of those rolly backpacks because, um, because, um, I, my back was bad or whatever. So like, I didn't really, I, I didn't move fast. I was pulling that thing around. It was like a suitcase or something. I was moving pretty slow. So it comes up behind me and tries to attack me. They tried to attack me. I was so scared. I was so scared. And they were like trying to push me and I was like trying to get with my backpack and stuff. And I was kind of like trying to dodge him. I saw my friend from across the hall. And per both my friend and this person are a grade higher than me. So this person would have totally like they totally would have like hit me or something if my friend had not showed up. So my friend showed up. And she's this really cool girl with like orange hair and she knows who she is. She saved me. I was so happy. And so like she came in and she's like, hey, back off. And she pushed him. And then he pushed her. Okay, now you know it's a guy and a girl. But it doesn't narrow it down enough. So anyway, he pushed her. She pushed him. Then a person comes out of the hallway and stuff and is like, hey, cut it out. Stop right now. What's going on? I'll you to the office. And she came to the office with me and explained what happened. And obviously she didn't get in trouble because she was just helping. She's just a good bystander. So she helped me out of that situation. But can you believe that I got suspended too? Like I got two days suspension. And he got like three or four. And I was like, I was like, why do I get the same punishment as him? I didn't do anything. But apparently just even being in the conversation where something saying mean about it. I was like, but it's not on school property. I was so confused and angry because he attacked me. I didn't go near him. I was just, I was just stating the facts. I, I, so that is what happened. This happened in middle school. I was scared for my life. Like I said, my thug levels have gone down, so I wasn't ready for a fight. I was super scared, guys. Like, he just came at me from nowhere. I didn't even see him. I remember exactly where I was standing, which hall I was standing. I remember everything. Down to what color, like, wheelchair backpack it was. Because I had more than one. But I know which one I was holding that day. And it, just, it was crazy. And I remember, like, when I turned around and saw his face in lockers, I was just like, mm, please don't kill me, please. And he left, so I thought it was okay. But apparently it wasn't okay because he came back for me. Ooh, guys, I was scared that day. So if it wasn't for my friend... Who knows what happened? I might have had a black eye or something. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. So that's it. That's my story. I guess I was attacked in middle school. Like it was crazy. 
So I guess you never really know. So just be nice to everyone and stuff. Because I don't know what he was going through. But, uh, but it gives no excuse to hurt somebody. Jeez. Anyway, that is it for today, guys. Thanks for watching yet another video of mine. If you, do, if you want to enter the giveaway, uh, click over there. And if you want to subscribe, click right there. And no forget the squad. You guys know what that button is. Join the squad. Be here every day and watch me on Tuesdays and Thursdays. Sometimes Fridays if I forget to upload, but I'll try not to. And that is it. Thanks for watching, guys. Have a great day. Bye.